Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Liz, and today we're continuing on with Hogwarts Legacy. This is episode two. In part one, we are introduced to the protagonist, which is us, <laughs> our character. We have just been accepted into Hogwarts as a fifth year, which is not something that usually happens. We meet Professor Fig. There's a whole drama happening. His late wife was on the hunt to find ancient magic and somehow, some way, we are the ones who can see this ancient magic. So yeah, we're already, you know, getting into trouble and having fun. So yeah, it's time to start class. I've rambled enough. Let's jump back into the game. So do I share this room? I do. So when I tell you I first started my job and I had to share a room with like six other girls crash pad life is not good sip your tea sis what was that chamomile lavender <gasps> eat an apple yes <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay. Now, which way is the common room? Which way is the common room? Let's find it together, sis. Oh, beautiful. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. <gasps> Are you talking about me? Be nice. Y'all don't see me here? <laughs> Girl? They don't see me. Did I put the invisible spell on myself? Revelio. Reveal me! God, oh, they still tripping. Okay. I thought that was Harry Potter. I was about to say. This is so cool. Why y'all acting like y'all don't see me? Level one lock? What does that mean? I'm level five. <laughs> Open it up. Are you laughing at me? Don't you laugh. He is. <laughs> but they still talking shit. You see how people do? Why you can't let them get to you, y'all? He's so rude. Where, where are the good people? Are you good? <laughs> He's not. He's more tea. But y'all stressing me out. Big, big stress. Did you try to hit me? <laughs> Hello. It'll be the next Butterbeer. <laughs> Hello. Wish Professor oh. Garlic would teach us more about. Don't do something you'll regret. There seems so little about them. Oh. Perhaps one day someone will be <sighs> Bitch! Going to harvest some knot grass from the greenhouses today. Did you know Where are I good would really friends? like someone to try it? I, think it has something to do with being I don't know that I should try it. Well, you're Weasley. Let me talk. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Maybe he's cool. Hello. <laughs> you're the new fifth year. He is Pleased so to meet you. Cute. I'm Gareth Weasley. Hi, Gareth Heard about Weasley. Heard your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is Somebody. it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figg's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. Thank so you, Gareth. I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? That's your mom? I am. She's my aunt. She's your auntie! She's a rich auntie. Aww. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. Yeah. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. She just Still, loves you. She means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Thank you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Thank Pleasure you for being to meet kind. you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. 
Hi, it's see my future husband, okay? Introduce yourself to Nelly and Cressida. Are you Nelly and Cressida? Are you Nelly? Okay. She gets I'm bold if I get I'm going to press the catches at this time. I'm going to try and visit them all this year. Are you Nelly? Okay. Nelly, please get down. Don't Professor fall off this time, Nelly. Anything for attention. Nelly, what you doing? I enjoy my new people to the dog weed and death <laughs> why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. Cause why are you on? <laughs> why are you up there, sis? Why are well, you levitating? Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again, put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness! <laughs> Imagine what she can do with I'm a broom. I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? It is true, but I, we handled it very well. Right. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Yes, I'm in anyway, Gryffindor. You've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor and oh. Hogwarts for that matter. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Oh, well, I didn't want to... Nelly, why? Why? You just... It, it, it doesn't look safe or comfortable. Okay, I see that. Where is, where is this person? <laughs> What did I do wrong this time? Oh, she's cute. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. She's stressed it's out. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Oh. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to Gryffindor. A beautiful I'm Freckers. Pleasure to meet Freckers? you, Cressida. Freckles. Splendidly theatrical <laughs> arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Oh. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? <laughs> I am I'm not famous. sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all Summer. Oh I can Lord. Cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? Because look at your I'm energy just around it, baby. At it. Yeah. Do most students know how to cast non verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Thank you. Don't stress yourself out too much, sis. Like, you'll get the Professor crown Weasley's lines. waiting for you outside the common room. Okay. Thanks. Enjoy your book. Don't roll your eyes at me either. Meet Professor Weasley. I love Professor Weasley. <laughs> Are you still up there, sis? She is. What is this, though? Are you dancing? Okay, she a little shy. I understand, so am I. <gasps> I forgot this move! This is so cool. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? 
Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have <coughs> when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department wow. of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. So beautiful. It's a fat lady in the back in my business. <laughs> What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. This is so pretty. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Yes, ma'am. Resource. Okay. I've never heard it pronounced that way. Resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Let's go, Professor. Oh, I'm running. Say this walk. way. Yes. Let me see. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about Look visiting this. law. Look at this clown up here! Why do students always frown? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. I hear Using you. the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Yes, yeah, situational awareness. Up. Yes, ma'am. I know all about that. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Barufio? <laughs> Are you sitting on Simply it? cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Portrait of Bar Barufio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio. Framed. Framed for his brain. Elixir. And as an example of what happened, when incantations are improperly spoken, he's once said instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, I wish y'all well. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. It's a kitty. Hi, baby. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay, I'm following you though, right? <laughs> I love the way that they walk. It is... So powerful. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your oh. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common room. Common rooms in the Great Hall. Select the South Wing region to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames that you have discovered, including your own house common rooms. Red flu flames reveal the location of. Okay, I like that. So it's like fast travel. Duh. <laughs> Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall of Blue Flames for you. Use right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall of Blue Flames with X. White outline indicates your active target aim and mode. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Yeah. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. All right, so I need to remember this, <laughs> this area. Oh, there's something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. It's beautiful. It's so exciting to see the owls come oh. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here.
Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Right. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, She's like, charms, you should jinxes, come <laughs> all terribly useful. What is this all I like? I think you will enjoy <laughs> Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Oh, Y'all, I've never gone... I've never gone um, to see Harry Potter land. And that's, that's something I want to do this year. Like, I want to go... Maybe I'll go on my birthday. Thank you, Professor but I want to try the beer! A lot on your first day and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after yeah, and that I can't talk awful about it, dragon as attack. I told him I wouldn't. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Now, I don't want to lie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Hey! Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Why couldn't oh, I just... I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Not say anything. Why did I have to lie? For magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good much. boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly <clears throat> in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank you so and much. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And yes, invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I'm sorry I lied. Is there beef? Did you see that? <laughs> hey. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation it regarding our late arrival? A lie. I didn't like it. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe I the ability you possess obliges to. you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, 
And so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents the main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. I didn't open the right thing, did I? I didn't, huh? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. Did I? This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. That's Charmed Compass. Leads you to anything that you're tracking. Interesting. <laughs> a beautiful game. I am amazed. This is so cool. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great <laughs> say you are replaceable. This is not. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Okay. I love it. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! Yeah, let me talk a to shit! A surprised shit. opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. This is so freaking cool. Set your wand with left stick and guide it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Levioso. How oh, awesome. Levioso. Oh, y'all, do a leaper should have taught this class. Mm, 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 mm. Now, let's try something a little larger. Now, will this require more, more brain power on my end? Does this look heavy, miss? Why I gotta be the guinea pig? Why I gotta be the first one? I'm so nervous! So Let us begin I... with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Okay. Which one is Levioso? Wait, which one is Levioso? Oh, okay, I have to hold it. What? That's Levioso. Levioso. 
Now, the basic cast. Well done. So it was RT plus B. Very good. But on this but side, it said it was to Oh, I'm confused. By dueling. We'll start with you two. I'm confused. Now I got a duel. Time duel for confused. Proper Hogwarts, welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. Shit, I you should Protego begin. first. Protego! This should be easy. Okay! <laughs> You're good. Now, perceptive. Stupid type. Good form. Oh, I wasn't supposed to use Stupify. I'm sorry. Yo, he's whooping my ass. Take on stupid. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I have nothing lucky about it, bitch. I don't even know what's going on and I still whooped your ass. Get your ass beat! Get your ass beat! Stupid. I do jump life too. Get your ass beat, Sebastian. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you like him, sis? I <laughs> put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Yes! Thank you, Professor Points Hippert. To Gryffindor! Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it. And they must achieve it. I love her. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Right. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. So now will this automatically All be in my book? Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Speak with Sebastian. Hi, brother. Nice to see you. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Cool. <laughs> oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh, he's a lover. Baby, this is a cold world. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh, Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Sweetie. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. You're trying to get the information out of me. I've never used my wand. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. <laughs> Magic requires intention and talent. Thank you. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Mm. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. It was skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Hey, Till next time. Um. That's complete. Nice. Achievement unlocked. First class student. Awesome. So, Professor absolutely wanted us to join that class. She knows exactly what's going on. Um, so I don't feel bad for joining. She wanted us to join. That's why she led us to him. Hi. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, she a baddie. That's all you gotta say? 
All right, I'm going to charm class. This is so cool and so fun. Off on another adventure, are we? Are you talking to me? Huh. Ign Ignatia, are you speaking to me? Was that you? Okay. Charms. What's this? What are you? It's not my business. I'm just gonna go to charm class. I'm just gonna go to charm class. Whatever she got going on, that's her business. Ooh, what you got, an apple? It looks good. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, okay, so as I as I pass them, they will automatically unlock. Perfect. Hi, Kitty. Hey. So pretty. Hey, I gotta go to class. Bye. On the right way. What you eating, girl? Some jelly beans. Am I going the right way? <laughs> Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh, y'all rebellious. Arms class. Perfect. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. I'm trying oh, to get tea, but I was gonna go to bowl attack. <laughs> Am I here? Is this is this it? I'm here. This is it. Oh god. Okay. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Hi. Thank you. Hello. I am so Nettie. Pretty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Her beautiful accent, wow. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But He's I beautiful. am confident that we will take hold <laughs> with a passion confident. and rigor requisite of such a challenge, right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study oh. now. Oh. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Imagine if this was your life and you were hmm. not, like, well, learning. Like, learning charms and spells. It need of review. Are you crazy? Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides the biggest... of the classroom. Now Wizard let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. <laughs> Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <sighs> okay. That was RT. Asio. Excuse me. That is not bad. Thank you. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. They have been Keep telling words, y'all. Might just rival Miss Onai here. Miss Onai. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. That's it. Well, as you all seem to have the basics <laughs> down, and it is an exceptionally lovely try day. Again. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Let's go. 
do it. Oh, I like that you can go back to the hints. That's cool. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> Are we gonna so, fly? What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the Let's summoning go. charm to the test, right? <laughs> can I just say I love the, the diversity of people? Like that brings so much joy to my heart. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest student start us off, hmm? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm gonna be the guinea pig all year, huh? Okay. So is Very it our key? Cast Accio Somebody? on one of the spheres Somebody and relinquish your charm the target closest to the, the last Hold RT moment. and press the sign button. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Facts. Show us how it's done. Okay, let's see. Splendid! Oh no! Almost, 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 okay. Let's try again. Akio. That's it! Oh my goodness, yes! Very good! Oh, we, we're getting it, y'all. We're getting it. I love it. Very good! Points to Gryffindor. Thank you! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on, friend. Come on up. This is so You'll fun. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so is it like a race to see who'll get it done first? Watch this. Job. There we go. Oh, is it not supposed to hit her? Excellent control there. Let us do this. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Oh, she's so excited. Oh no no no! I let go too. I let go too quick. Ah! Okay. Brilliant. Thank you, you but get off of it, man. <laughs> you already won a prize. Phew. Oh, I lost. Oh oh oh. <laughs> Wow, how fun! Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Sure! <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Right. <laughs> I'll say. Have fun. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Misha. Good shit. There we go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, well, that one passes. Ah, almost, almost. Okay. Splendid. We're neck and neck right now. Watch this. Tell me, sis. Teach me something. Yes! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Here we go. He's 
so good. Okay. Uh oh, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Ah, no, no. <laughs> good job, Natsai. Very good, both of you. Well done. Oh, thank you. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. <laughs> took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Aww. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Wow. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Mm -hmm. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. Right. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> Yo! Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Aww. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, we're gonna be such good friends. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using A word it for if you would. to be precise, Sebastian. Yes, sir. You know it won't You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Mm. Of course, Professor. It Don't was I a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor you Weasley has asked that, that your professors me. give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. 